Hey guys, Carlo here. Welcome to the vlog. In today's episode, I have something very special for all of you. We actually have the brand new Realme 8 Pro. It's the newest smartphone from Realme. It packs a 108 megapixel shooter at the back. This camera setup, you have ultra wide macro, the works. And then apart from that, it even runs on the Qualcomm Snapdragon 720G processor, which is super dope for the price point of this device. However, what's special is that Hindi ako yung mag picture oh. <laughs> I wanted to see how a professional photographer can make the most and use the phone to its fullest potential. So I actually gave the phone to our good friend and photographer Miles who does a lot of our shoots for Project 7 to 1, our merch brand. Link down below to our merch shop. So Miles will actually show you guys around. Uh, he has two models with him, uh, Victoria and Mark. He'll take a couple of photos. We'll show it to you guys. And let me know which photo you love the most of everything that Miles shot uh, with this video. So if you're excited to see what a professional photographer can do with a smartphone camera, this is the episode for you. Let's go. Hi, my name is Miles. I'm a professional photographer and I've been doing it for more than seven years. But with an SLR. So today Carlo challenged me to do a shoot with a smartphone, the Realme 8 Pro. And here's what happened. So I started to play around with the default camera to get used to the feel of shooting with a smartphone. And I believe the lens is a bit wide by default but the results are amazing. You get nice colors, the details are sharp and the autofocus is fast. Now it's perfect if you just want to take a quick photo or maybe a quick selfie, this is the mode to use. the ultra wide now this is a really fun lens to use I like it how you can still capture the background clearly and you can really get creative with this one a tip I can give for this is you flip your phone upside down so it gives you more angle that works better in a lot of occasions fun lens is the macro. Now you can use this to take smaller subjects and tight shots. I often see people using this to take food pictures but to test it out I used mini figures. Another mode is the 108 megapixel. Now this is my personal favorite advantage of using high megapixel lens is the sharpness and the clarity of the result. It's really crispy and even when you zoom in on the image it doesn't look blurred. You can still see the full details and it gives you the full and very high quality look. Another impressive feature is the night mode. Now this is really cool because even SLRs have trouble taking photos when there isn't enough light. But with night mode, I'm not really sure how they do it. Maybe with some camera software magic, but it makes the image pop more even with the lack of light. Lastly is the pro or expert mode. This is where you can adjust the settings manually such as the ISO, the shutter speed, your white balance. Plus you can take pro photos instead of JPEG. I 
I usually edit my photos when I take uh, raw photos because it's actually good even if you try to edit or enhance your photo the quality is still the same and it's still crisp and it's still good overall I enjoyed using realme squad camera setup and features that give you another level of creativity coming from a digital camera user I am really impressed I never saw myself doing a photo shoot using a smartphone but I really had a great time the 108 megapixel will really make you feel like a pro and I kid you not I'm sure anyone who picks this phone up will take more photos than they should so shoot away anyways Thanks for having me. Ang galing, di ba? Grabe, the shots of Miles. I mean, they are incredibly dope. Now, if you ask me which ones are my favorites, uh, I'll probably pick the first shot of Mark. Yung night shot niya, that was a super nice photo of him, you know, turned that to, to his back to the camera with the Project 71 sneak attack shirt, uh, Dream Compass at his back. Looks really nice. The way the camera was able to capture the photos, the lights of the building, the details of the shirt, and even the details of the shoe were friggin' awesome. Another favorite photo of mine would be the shot of Victoria, wherein it's taken from the down looking up, you know, with the sky at the background, her looking to the side, that, you know, that usual influencer pose of you being dramatic and taking, not, not looking at the camera directly. That was a really nice shot. The details were great. The shadows were awesome. And probably the next shot that I like is that purple shot of Victoria. So it was like a close-up of her wearing a mask with purple lights on either side and like, you know, super nice lights on the, the other side. It was just a really artistic, beautiful shot. And, and that's where I think you really get to maximize phones like the Realme 8 Pro. Because it's, at the end of the day, if you're able to unlock the fullest potential by learning how to compose, by learning how the basics of photography, by learning what are the, the ways that you can manipulate the settings of a pro mode, that's where you get to get to really show what the phone's camera's capabilities is all about. So my suggestion for you guys is if you are going to invest in a phone like this, you might also want to invest in a photography class or two, or just, you know, if you don't want to spend there a ton of photography basics, smartphone photography basics that you can check out on YouTube, you can check out on websites that will teach you to level up your mobile photography game. Miles, Victoria, Mark, maraming salamat. Sean, shout out to you for putting together this video. Guys, if you want to buy the Realme 8 Pro or the Realme 8, I will link it down below to where you can get it at an amazing price. Of course, online, get shipped to you directly. Just check the cameras out. Just check the phones out. They are super, incredibly great value for money. And with that said, that's actually it for today's vlog. Let me know what you guys think of the phone. Let me know what you think of the pictures. Peace, God bless. What's up? Boom.